course, Avi's uh, back in action doing some uh, routine maintenance here for these uh, 6X BLX motors. This is the BLX um, 2050 KV motor. I just uh, drilled a small hole in the back of it. Um, I had this idea from the previous uh, from a video watched on YouTube. It's another guy's channel there. Super easy to do. You drill a small hole. Of course, you want to have a drill bit that's small enough to go through this to the ball bearing. The ball bearing simply is pretty good still. I changed the front bearing. The front bearing was a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, some hard, some resistance wasn't smooth, and I put a new Jim's ball bearings in there. This little box I got from um, eBay here. It gives you, it gives you one big one here for the front, and then you get two small ones. I think the additional two small ones are for the 3S line, so. So there you have it. So this is the uh, previous ball bearing here for the back. The back one is the toughest one to get. And as again, if you guys can pop it out here with a Phillips head, just kind of pry it out. By all means, do it. But um, the best way is you drill a little hole back there, the back of the motor case, and then you put some you know electrical tape there to cover it up so you don't get no dirt back there. So I, I don't really think it'd be dirt because the ball bearing will probably get dirty quick. So electrical tape would be great. You can hold up for the heat. There's also here, I did like a little mod here. This here, in the back of the motor, with a little washer go right here. This actually had two little washers back here. When you take this motor out here in the back of it, there's like two small washers. They were completely like crushed and they were super thin washers and they were completely like, you know, all <laughs> disoriented. They were not flat no more. They were all messed up. So I had to put this one here. This is like a Traxxas hub for the ball bearings, like a little washer here, spacer. I put this in there to replace that, it's a little bit thicker, and for two of them, it makes up, so, see that guy, I hope you can see it here, just any washer really will be better back there, so this can, this does compensate for those two other ones here, so there you have it, see, you put that guy in first, and you put this one on top here, this is a little, I guess, spacer too, on, on the shaft, it goes around the shaft right here, this is the rear shaft, this is the front shaft, they're pretty clean, I blew it out with my um, uh, air compressor gun in the garage, so um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that dirty. I'm not gonna pull out the whole entire assembly here. I'm gonna just leave it in. And um, these are the screws over here for the back. Those back ones take 1.5, so you guys know, 1.5 for the rear, and the front takes 2.5. Yeah, 2.5, I believe. Yes, 2.2.5 for the for the front uh, screws here. These screws seem to be um, Loctite, so uh, I'm probably going to throw on some blue Loctite before I put them back on. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much just changed both my bearings and this one here. These are the new ones here, they're going to shift it right in here. Before I put it in here, of course, I'm just going to clean this out, the shavings there, and put some WD-40 around there. Those are going to have some good lube when you, before you stick a bowl bearing. Before you stick a bowl back in, you want to have some good lube, you know what I'm saying, guys? This can go any way you, you can you can imagine. So take it for the force. You always need some good lube before you put your ball back in. Ball bearing that is into your into the shaft. So there you have it. Kind of humorous video here. So this is um do these motors typically have a notorious oh this is from a my notorious 6S. And as you guys know, these motors are notorious for having these ball bearing issues here from, from Arma. So this is a be using it for a year now exactly a year i got the car last august of 20 so this is 2021 august so there you have it so one year you playing with these rigs definitely even the ball bearing feels okay i did one of them so it's good to do two of them for you know peace of mind you know i know the second one here oh yeah so before i forget here this is just the uh the drills that you need here so this is the smallest one here this small one here it goes through this bearing here so this is the back bearing here and the front bearing they both have the same exact kind of diameter for the for the for the center hole there and you see here this this thing goes like this and right here like so too it goes into the um, other one as well um what are these things this is like 1 18th 5 3 16th i believe it is so you go to the small one then you go to the little bigger one here for the back this is only for the back like i mentioned before guys you got to drill a hole back here and uh to get to this guy here so once you go to the backpack one then you get a little bit bigger one here this bigger one here you only put it through the back. It's the back hole right there. So this will allow you to see some, the clearance here, the outer rim of the actual ball bearing. You can just pop it out with a, you know, flathead screwdriver, hit it with a hammer, and it come right out. 
and then um, as you see here I put it here I used a wood I used my uh, back of my mallet for the wooden wooden mallet there the wooden uh, handle don't use no metal against the ball bearings use some wood you don't want to be bending these ball bearings and brand new ball bearings you don't want to be breaking them right away you don't you know as soon as you put it in so use a wood and just hit it in there with some you know back of your handle for your uh, mallet or your hammer and just see it in there properly and I put some WD-40 and these motors are literally like the, probably the best motors out there for 6S rigs these BLX motors the only issue here like I mentioned you do have the, the notorious issue of having the bail ball bearings from the factory so, get, so when you have some issues besides your other rig besides your ball bearings for your your car whether it's a 6S rig or a 3S rig from Arma typically Arma of course the, the, bad, the bad, uh, bad ball bearings in the motors just change them out you know simple don't go don't you don't have to spend 120 dollars for a new motor you know you can just kind of do some maintenance yourself here it's super easy and then there you have it okay guys all back together now see here you see how it's gonna look like when you do that hole in the bottom well I have a good solution for that hole check this out here Nice and smooth too. I'm not sure if it's like the same as before, but maybe maybe it's a little bit better how the shaft spins. Voila! That hole has now disappeared. This is a professional grade job I just did here. Put a piece of nice, uh, this is girdle tape here in the back. So there you have it guys. That bearing will not be a, a problem getting dirty or nothing like that. This girdle tape here should hold up in the field, field bashing and yes, uh, turning the, like the shaft does feel a little bit better. It feels like a new motor now. You know, when I put the pinion gear in, I probably get a better idea. But it's uh, yeah, feels feels a lot better now. All the screws are in good. I put some uh, did put some blue Loctite here, just in the front screws here. The back these are two point uh, two point five mil. In the back ones, you're under put no um, no Loctite on those guys. Those guys just go back there. And I have one outcast here. It's like a Phillips head because I lost the other one when I took apart the motor last week. There was missing a screw back here. So, you know, always got to check your rig, man. These screws maybe came loose from the factory, one of them, and it just popped out, maybe on a bash. So, I put that little guy there, because that's all I already had that fits. So, it worked. You yeah, improvise a little bit on this RC stuff. Improvise to save some money. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching here. This uh, cool video here and this uh, small little uh, motor built here for the uh, 6S rig. And, again, it's, it's for the 3S rig, too. And it's, uh, it is the uh, gym, uh, Jim's ball bearings here. 3s and 6s and you're gonna need it comes with a spare ball bearing here so you have you have an extra one here to keep it that's pretty good and um yeah any questions uh below guys just uh, send me a comment and if you like the uh, content here like subscribe and uh, force hobbies we'll see you again soon hope you be safe everybody out there peace out